We are reviewing for your first test on simplifying expressions, real numbers, all of the above. Number one here, 32 minus 44, opposite signs, so you subtract them. You get to number 12 with a negative because the bigger number is negative. Also think you gained $32 and you lost $44, so you've lost 12 total. Number two, you have a minus and negative, turn that to plus positive, so you lost 15 and you gained a positive 10. So negative 5 is your answer. You're still 5 in the whole. Negative 8 plus negative 44. So you gain 98 and you lost 44. So you have 54 as your answer. Multiplication. Negative times negative will give you a positive. 3 times 5 gives you 15. Positive 15 is your answer. In fractions, when you're adding them or subtracting them, you need a common denominator. My common denominator here will be 4. That gets it to be the same. To get from 2 to 4, I multiply by 2, so I have to do the same up top. So now I have 2 fourths plus 3 fourths. When I add them together, I will get 5 over 4. Don't add your denominators to make it 5 over 8. That is not correct. You can't have 2 apples plus 3 apples and somehow get 5 oranges. That doesn't work. You need to have the same denominator. Multiplication, you just multiply straight across. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 9 is 36. And then try to simplify. Uh, I can divide both of those numbers by 6 to get 1 over 6. I also could have cross canceled from the beginning. 1 and 9, or 3 and 9 could turn into 1 and 3. 2 and 4 into 1 and 2. 1 over 6 when I multiply across. Number 7, flip and multiply. You flip the second fraction only, change it to multiplication, and now multiply straight across. 5 times 4 is 20. 12 times 3 is 36. And again, simplify. Divide both of those by 4 get 5 divided by 9. Number 8, order of operations, you need to do the multiplication first. 6 times 5 is 30. You still have 3 plus 30 now, so 33 is your answer. Number 9, order of operations says do in parentheses first. When you do the parentheses, you get, well, inside the parentheses, you need to do 2 cubed first, which is 8. So 1 plus 8 gives you 9. You still have the times 7 out here, and you have the 43 uh, as well. <clears throat> so now order of operations tells us you have to do the multiplication before the subtraction. So 9 times 7 is 63. So now you just have 43 minus 63, negative 20 is your answer. Reminder, there is no calculator on this test tomorrow. Number 10, same thing. Inside the parentheses first, 3 minus 2 times 4. Well, 2 times 4 is 8, so I do that first. The issue with 3 minus 8 on the inside, 3 minus 8 is negative 5. So that's what's inside the parentheses. 5 minus negative 5 squared. Because that negative 5 is in the parentheses, I'm squaring that entire thing. Negative 5 times itself. Negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. 5 minus 25, so your answer is negative 20. And number 11, you have exponents, so do that first. This time the negative is not on the inside what it was in the last problem. There are no parentheses, so we don't put parentheses. Just 5 squared is 25, so I have 2 times 7 minus 25. Order of operations, multiplication comes next. And now 14 minus 25 gives you negative 11 as your answer. Okay, next portion deals with plugging in values and solving. So just plug everything in first. 2xy means 2 times x times y and plus a squared, plus 5 squared. Order of operations, yet again, that's 25. And here is 2 times 8 times negative 3. 28, or 2 times 8, I'm sorry, times negative 3. That becomes, uh, well, mix it around. Make it negative 6 times 8, negative 48, plus 25. So your answer is negative 23. In 13, again, plug in first. Plug all your values in. Here's another example. To do negative 3, which is y, to do negative 3 squared, that's negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9. So now I have 5 plus 9 in my parentheses. That's still what I need to do first. That becomes 14. 2 times 14, which is 28. And number 14, x over b, so 8 over 2, minus 5 times negative 3 for a, y. 8 over 2 just means 8 divided by 2, which is 4. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Here's another minus a negative becomes plus a positive, so positive 19 is your answer. 
And the last set on the back, the multiple or the uh, simplifying expressions, looking for like terms to combine. So those both have x's. I combine them. For 24 plus 18 is 42 x's. And then the minus 7 has nothing to pair with. It stays with minus 7. In 16, I need to distribute this first. Before I distribute, check and make sure the part on the inside can't be simplified. It cannot, so I distribute. That becomes 20x plus 10 minus 3x. Now I can look like terms. 20x and minus 3x becomes 17x and plus 10 on the end. 17, same thing, can't simplify in parentheses, so distribute. 7x minus 35. Make sure you take the negative 2 with it when you distribute. Negative 6x and especially here, negative 16. Now combine them, 7x and negative 6x becomes just x. Negative 35 and negative 16 combine to give you a negative 51. Again, think, negative 35 yards and negative 16 yards, how much do you have? And this one, I only have one thing to distribute. 4x times x will become 4x squared. There's multiple x's there, 4xx, 4x squared. Minus 12x, still the 16x in front. And now we combine what we can. There's nothing to combine with 4x squared. The 16x and the 12x will become just 4x. Final page, last four. This one just has a lot to try to combine together. Well, here's an x squared. There's no other x squared. So that's 3x squared. If it helps, get rid of it. Scratch it off when you're done with it. Uh, other things with just a regular x. There's a negative 4x and a positive 3x. That becomes just negative x. Now I can cross those off. Next, y squared. So I have a plus y squared and a plus y squared. 1's plus 5, 1 plus 1. So 5 y squared plus 1 y squared is 6 y squared. And the only thing left is this minus 1 on the end. Number 20, I can distribute through or I can see, well, hey, these are like terms. I can combine them immediately. So now I just have 7x times 30, which would be 210x. <clears throat> In 21, let's distribute first. Again, remember, distribute the negative a. So keep the 3a, this becomes negative a squared, and this becomes negative a plus 8. Negative a squared can't combine with anything. 3a and minus a is plus 2a, and then the 8 is all that's left behind. Last one, another distributing. 36x and negative 90 when I distribute there. Combine my like terms, there's nothing to go with 36x, there's no other x's. 87 plus negative 90 is negative 3, and that's your final answer. Best of luck. Study well.